2023 Honda Civic and I'm gonna get a uh, strike for music on this video probably but it's okay um, so on this one here I just finished the recovery on it I'm about to switch over to um, what's that called uh, nitrogen to nitrogen purge so the system is under a vacuum and as you can see no, let me start it up okay so let's go through this process I'm here I am I just put it into recovery position so you could watch it turn itself off when it limit it's it's reached its limit okay so we recovered already so now we're gonna put it into the purge mode this takes the liquid refrigerant out of the condenser and pumps it out as a gas into your cylinder so your machine is no longer filled with a lot of liquid you could have you know an ounce and a half three ounces of liquid inside there so let's go to that let's turn it over you'll hear the sound difference and if you notice the line moved a little bit because it just switched over it's now purging the liquid and emptying out the machine so you could disconnect it so once you have it purged out let's start closing off the valve valve is closed let's put it in off position now this just closed the valve in here so this port is no longer click uh, into the machine anymore so you just disconnect it there that was it that little bitty squirt and we are done so now we're going to get ready to put nitrogen into the system because the system is all the way down into the micron level i could recover all the way down eight nine hundred microns to get the refrigerant out so i'm going to disconnect but not remove i'm just going to back off the valve i'm going to crack this a little bit because i'm going to purge this with nitrogen we're going to fill the system with nitrogen this is a one hose method. Instead of using two hoses and a refrigerant manifold connected up to two, I just recovered everything out of the low side. Well, I, well, that's the wrong one. That would not be good. Well, I'm uh, doing my recovery one hose only because all my other equipment is on other cars right now. And so you hear that? Oh, okay, so now that's purged out and i cracked the tank open put a little bit of nitrogen into the system and uh yeah this is broken i don't care um but i know what it is i know it's pretty low so now i could okay i'm going to show you this you don't want to leave this filled with pressure because the technician is going to take these off and you don't want oil to splash into his eyes so we're under pressure, you heard the pressure, now you're gonna watch the pressure, or you're gonna listen to the pressure come out. You hear that? So the whole entire system is purged with nitrogen. I had like 14 PSI of pressure of nitrogen. It was already emptied of refrigerant. You want the nitrogen, the dry nitrogen in the system, because when the technician or yourself removes these lines and you recovered refrigerant and it's under a vacuum all the humidity the moisture in the air gets sucked into the line and this is poe oil extremely hydroscopic it binds onto that water molecule and it does not want to release it just by using a vacuum alone so do not expose the system to excessive moisture uh, it's worse on yf refrigerant because yf refrigerant becomes much more acidic than 134 refrigerant and so that's why the oils are different they have an additive package in there trying to combat the negative side effect of a higher acidic refrigerant when it gets exposed to moisture all right i hope that was simple enough and explained enough to you to know why you use nitrogen after you perform a recovery and uh, how easy these little recovery men. Now this has to go out to be recycled. You either send this out to recycle or you must own a full bore recycling machine to put these in. So if you're a shop that has mobile too and you do off-road trucks, you could fill up a few of these, bring them back to your shop and recycle them. But there's a new ruling coming out that's in the talks right now, thinking of banning shops from not able to recycle your own refrigerant. They're talking about making it so you only could recover refrigerant and you have to send it out to a third party recycler and then buy back your refrigerant or buy more refrigerant. Uh, they're thinking of banning shops 
this is a new ruling you go to macs max online they have a facebook page uh, i think they're on linkedin and a youtube page and whatever else and uh, you can look up and find out that europeans i think we're already doing it now but now they want to bring it to america where we no longer could recycle refrigerant in our shops see you guys later